Hello, and welcome to this episode of MyPCHelp.com. I'm David Murray. Today we're going to talk about an issue that affects a lot of people, and that is people who have older or slower computers and they find themselves either wanting to or needing to run Windows XP. That's not always easy or even possible to do on older computers. Um, this is a story I see a lot. Somebody will bring me a laptop like this. Now, this is a perfectly good laptop. It's a Dell Latitude, and it's uh, 233 megahertz. However, if you put Windows XP on it, especially with a lot of other applications like Office and stuff like that, it can tend to run so slow that just to boot the computer up, I hear stories of booting it up, going to get cups of coffee, drinking them, coming back, it's still booting, and then trying to do something as simple as opening a web page can take minutes when it should only take seconds on a regular computer. Well, I'm going to show you how to install the computer from scratch. Now, that in and of itself will speed up most people's computers beyond their wildest imagination because it gets rid of a lot of junk that they didn't necessarily even know they had in there and it also gets rid of any spyware or viruses that can also be bogging the computer down. But, moreover, I'm going to show you some extra tweaking things that you can do to remove a lot of stuff that comes prepackaged with Windows that you don't need, or at least most people don't need. And if you follow these instructions, you'll be able to see the difference it makes turning an old computer from something that's worthless into something that's worth something. When you begin the setup, you'll need to delete any existing file system and recreate it using the older FAT file system. Although the NTFS system is superior, for most users the FAT file system uses far less memory and is far more efficient. Now, keep in mind, Windows XP will not let you use the FAT file system if your partition is over 80 gigabytes. But that's not 